Welcome back to uh, part two. Now that you've um, positioned your uh, biped inside your your mesh uh, correctly, um, it should look something um, like this. If I just go into a right, there we go. It's just X. Just zoom out. You have to make sure that um, all your um, joints, like your uh, your knees. Um, your ankle and all the rest of it are positioned correctly inside that and uh, make sure that your hands are perfectly aligned inside the um, the gloves of your um, of your mesh okay so if I just go to the front view let's just zoom out a bit and we'll see that it's all positioned correctly the pelvis is where it should be you have your spinal column you got your shoulders um, the elbow is locked in the right position and as you can see all the fingers are in in the gloves where they should be. Okay. Right, if we just go back to our normal four view port section, uh what we want to do now is um right click and unfreeze all. That's it. Now our character mesh is back on screen. Okay. Now Sometimes if your mesh is just uh, one object uh, that you fit your uh, biped into, um, that's fair enough. But sometimes, just like this one, like I mentioned earlier, your mesh has quite a few parts. You've got like a hat, you've got a uh, left side, you've got the right side, you've got the left leg, boot and all the rest of it. Now what we do not want to do is select a biped part, okay, such as the, uh, the arms, the fingers or anything like that. So what we do <coughs> is go into um, here and you see all the objects in the scene. Okay, select everything except for, um, like I say, the name of your biped. I named it Officer earlier. Do not name, select that, and do not select any of the biped parts. Now you can tell which is the biped because it has a BIP uh, with a with a body um, name next to it. Now once you've got all of these selected, okay, it's, it's all highlighted except for the biped. That's um, not not selected at all. Go to modify and then we go to physique okay now what we want to do is apply the physique now we click on this button here okay and then we click on here and we pick officer okay and select pick initialize right once it's all um, selected and it's all completed now you can see um, if I just um, give you a demonstration that the um, the biped is now applied to the mesh. Now, if I click on the foot, if I can get hold of that, there we go. The foot. Look what happens when I move the foot. You see, we have a problem with the uh, the actual texture there. Now, that's caused because of um, some some of the um, the vertices are left behind uh, when you applied the biped. Now, what we want to do to uh, fix this, okay, is uh, go up to our modify panel here. Select the boot. Now, this, obviously, I'm working on the boot here, not the whole mesh. Now, if your foot's in the boot, you, you highlight the boot. If if the problem's in the leg, you highlight the leg. Okay, but because I'm having the problem with the with the foot at the moment, I'm highlighting the boot. Okay, click on the physique um, plus button here. Click on envelope. Now, this is what we do to uh, fix the problem. Now, you can see here. We have all these little uh, yellow lines going through the body. Now this is basically like the, the tendons of the body. Okay, so I'm going to zoom right into the boot here. All right. Now what we want to do is select around about here. What, what, you see, you'll see where the cursor changes from um, an arrow to a crosshair. Now when it select changes to a crosshair, click. Now this is what you need to do to fix this problem. Okay, you need to bring out the envelopes a bit so that it basically covers all of the outside of the leg. Now you can bring it up, okay, and you can bring it down again, okay. Now that's done that bit. We'll click down here where the foot is. I'm going to bring it up a bit more. Now, what you need to be careful of is that if you're going to make this too big you'll interact with another object and you'll have, have uh, parts of the um, the mesh pulling out towards um, where, where your other foot is. Now to, to stop this from happening click on vertex okay and um, obviously because it's a different object you can't see it but um, if you've got other um, parts getting in the way highlight them all and lock them 
um, this will prevent it from happening. And obviously, once you've finished um, doing that, highlight the, um, the, the vertices again and uh, unlock them. So, for an example, I'll just highlight all these and click lock. Now, you can't do anything with them until I highlight them all again and unlock. Okay, so that's something for you to remember. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do now is click the foot again and hopefully all the parts of the mesh should move with the foot. But there's still a little bit there, so what we're going to do is um, keep editing. So envelope, and I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to open it up a bit more. Now, if you need some um, help to see where the envelopes go to, try and get another angle in. Okay, as you can see, we have a bit of a problem. It's not actually going throughout the whole area of the foot. So if I click on this one and drag it up a bit more it will pull it out. There we go. And because I've got one toe, you always come with a default toe. There we go, I've uh, selected the uh, the toe now. Now I'm going to bring this right up. Okay, so it covers the whole of the end of the, uh, the boot. And I'm going to bring the child overlap down so that it covers the end of the foot. Okay. Right. Click on envelope. Click on the foot and now it should cover the whole thing there we go as you can see the whole leg without any bits of mesh missing moves with it okay and you have to do this to each body part because uh, you'll find that the, the, the higher leg the thigh there is still a bit of mesh that's not aligned properly so I'm going to click on the leg now click on envelope and highlight the thigh here and bring the radial scale up a bit more there we go, it covers the whole uh, area there. Envelope, select the foot, and with any luck, the whole thing should move with it. There we go, that's moving very, very well. Okay. You might not have to do this with every single body part because sometimes um, the body parts will be applied pr correctly. Like, for, say, this leg here, there aren't any problems at all. Actually, no, I correct myself, there's a very slight problem. As you can see, there's a bit of texture uh, mesh there that's um, out of the way so I do actually need to do the thigh but as you can see there's not much work that needs to be done with this leg than I had to do with the other leg so if I just uh, envelope this leg up a bit more let's just open that up out a bit more I'll do a bit on the knee as well okay open it up a bit more yeah so on each limb that you have, always move move uh, the hand or the foot around just to see um, how the rest of the body reacts with it. Now, as you can see, I've I've got it now, so uh, there's no mesh left behind. Right, and it's the same for the arms as well. So if I click the hand, now you might see quite a bit of a, a problem with the hand. As you can see, the arms have got a problem, and so is the end of this finger here as well. Okay, so if I just do the envelope on this.